Hey guys, my name is Hans, and today what we're going to be doing is testing the noise filtering ability of two different uh, consumer grade uh, line conditioners. Uh, I've got a unit from Furman, this is the PST8, and then I've got a unit from Monster Power, this is the HTS3600. And what I'm going to be doing is just testing the noise reduction abilities of these using a broadband EMI meter. And what this essentially does is it's going to give us uh, an audio and visual uh, indication of the line noise coming from my wall here in my kitchen, as well as the reduction that these two units are able to provide. And I'll test uh, every outlet in these units individually to see uh, if there's any difference in, in the reduction. So uh, let me just show you what, what we've got going here. This is the, uh, the Furman PST8. Linear AC power conditioner. And then we've got the Monster Power HTS3600, uh, which says that it has the uh, clean power uh, stage 3 uh, V2 filtering so let me just set that up there and we'll see see what we're working with uh, what I'll first do is I'll just get a line reading uh, from the outlet here in my kitchen now as you can see the kitchen is pretty well lit I've got a under cabinet fluorescent lights I've got LED bulbs here uh, the refrigerator is on a different circuit but uh, this this line should be pretty pretty noisy So let me just plug this in and see what, what the reading is Okay, yeah, so uh, As you can see here the reading from this this line is uh, 1314 millivolts, so that is a um, That is a really really dirty uh, line with a lot of noise a lot of interference what I'll first do is plug in this Furman, the PST8, and we'll see what kind of reduction we get uh, in these outlets. So, units plugged in, let's power it on, and the first outlet here. Okay, so it is re it is reducing the line noise. Uh, we're getting a reading of. 879 and so it is reducing it some I mean that that is uh, it's it's not it's not great uh, but it is a reduction so um, I'm expecting all of these outlets to be the same uh, because this isn't uh, there are, there are separate banks in in this uh, unit the PST8 now I do have a PST8 D which does have isolated banks uh, so I will test that one next, um, but let me just test a few of these other outlets and see. Yeah, so we're getting a 880 here. And then this next bank. Yeah, 865. And then the last set of outlets here. 849 okay so again the next unit is going to be the monster power this is the hts 3600 let's just see what this unit's able to do as far as uh, noise reduction and uh, turn this thing around the outlets are in the back and let's see so the first bank that we're going to test here is the uh, the digital filter for Things like what it says here is DVD, cable, satellite, HDTV, and, uh, and CD. So this is the isolated digital filter. Okay, and now this unit is providing a substantial reduction. Uh, in the digital filter bank, uh, the current reading is 268 in millivolts. Uh, the next bank here is the uh, video filter. And it's got uh, stickers here for TV monitor uh, or VCR. So this is an isolated video filter. 
And again, this is this is doing some reduction. Uh, the reading is 319, so we're talking almost a thousand millivolt reduction there. The next bank is an isolated analog audio filter uh, for things like a receiver uh, or processor. Uh, again, pretty good reduction, 333 millivolts. The, uh, the last bank on this is the high current filter uh, for, this is like a main amp, it's, it's an isolated high current audio filter. And uh, this one's actually providing the best reduction. It's I'm all the way down to 190 millivolts. So that that high current, uh, isolated high current audio filter is really providing uh, some some good uh, reduction. So yeah, it, it looks like the uh, the Furman is is doing some reduction. I mean, it, it's taking it down from you know 12, 1300. Uh, all the way down to 800 and change millivolts. So I mean, it's it is doing some reduction, um, but it's not doing anywhere near the reduction that this Monster Power uh, HTS 3600 is doing. Um, you know, and, and then again, another great thing about this unit is that it has um, isolated banks. So it's got it's got four different isolated banks, which should theoretically you know stop any cross contamination between the banks. So if you have a, a noisy device uh, on your analog audio, it shouldn't contaminate uh, your digital filter devices like your HDTV. You know, one thing I, I, I did think about, so, you know, this is a Green Wave broadband EMI meter, and this is their Green Wave uh, filter. It's, it's the, uh, the EMI filter. So the last thing I wanted to do was just take the Furman unit and then plug this Green Wave device into it to see um, if I could get uh, a further reduction and maybe get it on par with, with uh, this Monster Power unit. Um, so let me, let me just try that real quick. Let's get rid of the Monster Power. So from 1300 again, the reduction here is, uh, let's see, we're at 847. So it is, it is reducing it. Um, you know, let me plug this in down here. So, you know, this reading 850. Now I'm gonna plug in this Greenway filter uh, to the end here on this last bank and let's just see what kind of reduction we get. Wow. Okay, so with the Greenway filter plugged in, this unit is now only giving me 41 millivolts, which is a 99% reduction uh, on this unit. So that is a uh, that's a substantial filtering now occurring with the Greenway filter in this uh, in this Furman PST8. So. I don't know guys, you know, take that for what you will. I mean, the device does some filtering. It's not great. Um, you know, 1300 down to 850 millivolts. So kind of the last thing I wanted to do was just try one more unit. This is the Furman. It's the PST-8D. Very similar to the PST-8. The only difference is uh, it has isolated banks here. Uh, which should help prevent cross-contamination for any devices that are uh, in the unit itself. So I just wanted to see if that was the case, if they provide the same level of filtering across the board uh, with this unit. So let me open this thing up and, and we'll try this one too. It turned on. Okay, so the first reading in the first outlet here. Yeah, same as the, as the eight. PST8, it's about 800, 807 is the reading there. So let me move down to the, uh, it says here digital video filtering. Uh, there, there's two isolated banks here. This, this is the indication. If you get the AD, you'll see these uh, two outlets here and here 
have got a little black circle around it kind of indicating that these are the isolated units and then right here it says digital video filtering so we'll see if uh, if the filtering is any different with these outlets or if it's just um, an isolation that's taking place so let me get the one just before it yeah right around 800 804 so the first um, outlet in the isolated bank let's see what that reads yeah it's the same reduction 809 is what i'm getting in the first bank Uh, let me just try the second outlet in that same bank. Yeah, same thing, 811. Then the last bank that's also isolated is 805. Now here's one, one test I wanted to do. I wanted to plug in this green wave filter. So I've got my meter into one of the isolated banks. It's this, the last one here with uh, the circle around it. So what I want to do is plug in this filter over here uh, in, in a wall wart outlet and see if it filters this 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 isolated bank. Whereas just the eight, the model eight PST eight, if I plug this in here, it essentially filtered all outlets from that point. So let me just try that. I'm getting a reading of uh, eight oh five here. And plug this in, and it does reduce it. I mean, I, you may have heard that buzzing go down it went from 805 to you know roughly 37 38 so i'm not sure why this why there's a circle around these two outlets here and these two outlets here if this was truly isolated you would think that this filter wouldn't allow the reduction taking place to to reach these outlets but it is um, let me just try these outlets here same thing, 37 millivolts here. And then the outlets next to that, same thing, 37. So I'm not exactly certain with this PST8D why they're saying these are isolated outlets. Um, you would think that with this filter here, um, anything that was plugged in here uh, for, these, for these four outlets wouldn't cross over into these two banks here and here um, but that that seems to be the case so from what i can tell with the pst8d it doesn't seem to be worth the extra money to to purchase the 8d as opposed to just the 8 because these don't seem to be isolated and they don't seem to be providing any additional filtering um, so that that digital audio filtering indication on these last four outlets uh, seems to kind of be nonsense. Let me just try it one more time. I mean, I'm getting 820 on this bank and then the bank outside of that, which is non-isolated, you know, 815. So it's, it's not providing any additional filtering. I mean, 8, 808 on that last one. So, you know, it's about 800 is my current reading on all, all, all of these outlets. Um, so it's, I say save your money on the PST8D and just get the PST8 because um, there doesn't seem to be any isolation or any additional filtering happening. And again, you know, what I've got coming out of my wall is about 1300. So the Furman units are providing some filtering. Um, you know, you can do the math on that, whatever, you know, 800 roughly, you know, 850, um, you know, reduced down from from 1300 or, or so coming out of my wall so it is filtering it's not filtering as well as the uh, monster power unit um but you know this monster power unit is, is discontinued so i'm not sure if you could even find uh something equivalent i mean unless you can find i'm sure you can find these used uh or you know maybe someone's got one but you know again this monster power unit has got the stage three v 2.0 uh clean power technology from monster power so you know maybe any of their other units would would provide that that same level of, of reduction which is substantially more than than what i'm getting out of these Furman units so anyhow 
I guess that's the end of my testing. Um, you know, if you guys can think of anything else that you want me to try, I'm, I'm happy to do it. Um, you know, I don't think I'm going to send these back uh, just because it's a hassle. I mean, I'll probably keep them and maybe use them somewhere else. I mean, they are doing some filtering, although it's not great. Uh, it's, it's probably better than a, a regular power strip. So um, I'll probably just go ahead and, and, and keep them. So thanks for watching, guys. You know, again, if you can think of anything else you want me to try, I'm happy to do it. Have a good day.